this is Laura Hammock from the Marble Jar channel and in today's video I'll show you how I use Evernote to attach files to my iPhone calendar events. So I use Google Calendar to keep track of personal and family appointments and I access Google Calendar from a variety of places but the majority of the time I'm looking at my calendar from either my iPhone or my iPad. So up until this week, I've been using the built-in iPhone calendar app. I decided to try out the Google Calendar app, which I like so far, but this video really applies to either of those mobile apps. So just a quick technical note before I dive in. Between web-based Google Calendar and the indigenous iPhone calendar app, most of the fields translate perfectly, um, like you know date, time, and place but some fields don't have counterparts um, on the other system. For example, the URL field in the iPhone calendar app doesn't have a corresponding field in Google Calendar. So if you populate it on your phone, it doesn't show up um, on Google Calendar in a browser. So for this reason, I try to avoid using it. End of technical note. So I wanted to be able to attach uh, files to my events for two reasons. Number one, I'm mostly paperless and I do not want to have to remember where I put a flyer or an agenda for a meeting and so forth. Number two, I share my calendar with, my, with all the people in my family. So if that flyer is attached to the event, every family member immediately has access to it from their phone. You can see my earlier video that explains uh, how I do that. So here's an a real life example. My daughter's choir participated in the National Cherry Blossom Parade last year. She was actually getting a ride with a, a, a friend's family, but all the details for the event were on this flyer, including things that she needed to know, like uh, what to wear, where to meet, what the schedule was for the day, etc. So I wanted to attach this flyer to the event in the calendar so that she immediately had access to it from her phone as well. As far as I could tell, there was not an easy way to do this that is also accessible from the built-in iPhone calendar app. So if you are accessing Google Calendar from a computer browser, you can attach a document from Google Drive, like this. And then when you open up that event on your mobile device, you can see it, but you can't actually open it. It's frustrating. So plus there's no other way to attach files directly from the iPhone calendar app. So here's how I get around it. Number one, scan or photograph. So first, I scan the flyer using Adobe Scan, or I just take a picture of it using the phone. Number two, save to Evernote. Then I save it to Evernote using the share button in either Adobe Scan or in Camera Roll in Photos. Um, I save it to my Lara's Brain Notebook, which is my default note repository. And generally speaking, I give it the tag temporary. So I'm assuming that this is a flyer or a document that's important only for this one event. I make a point um, to clean out my temporary notes a couple of times a year. But if I want to keep the flyer a little longer, I just use a different tag rather than temporary. Number three, copy link in Evernote. Okay, now I open up the Evernote app and I find my note. So it should really be the very first node in the all notes list since it was the last one that I added or edited. Now I choose the share button and then I hit the copy link option. So I have to choose to make it either a private link or a public link. Public links are accessible to anyone who knows the URL. Private links can only be viewed by those who have express access, login access to that Evernote notebook. So since I don't share my notebooks with my kids, I almost always choose public. If I frequently attach files that contain sensitive information, I might want to create a new shared notebook in Evernote just for this purpose, but I haven't had to do that yet. Number four, add the link to the event. Now I go back into my event and calendar and I scroll down to the notes section. Remember, I'm not gonna use the URL field since it doesn't translate over to all of my interfaces. Um, I paste the link into the notes field and save the event. Okay, so now when I go into my event and iPad calendar and I click on that link, it takes me straight to that note on Evernote for web, Evernote for web in a browser. In addition, if I look at this event on my computer browser, I can access this file from there as well. So you can obviously use this for Google Drive documents or really anything else that is stored on the cl cloud and has an accessible link. So let me know how this works for you. Comments are always appreciated and thanks for watching.